Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel and this is your tip of the week. I'm going to give you suggestions on things you can make out of towels. I'm going to start out by saying this is what you typically see me do in a lot of the tutorials. I take a basic kitchen towel or hand towel, I put a little fabric at the bottom and some trim, or I might put something like this at the top where you can hang it over the towel bar. Or I might do a combination of both. You also see me occasionally work with a novelty towel, which is what this is. Now, on your novelty towels, sometimes you only have a design printed on one end, and then the other end is just blank, just this background here. But sometimes, I'm going to open this up, you will have the same design on both ends. So no matter which way you hang it, these owls will be upright. But I don't always buy a towel to make it into a towel. I will sometimes see something on it that I like. For instance, I could put one of these owls on a baby bib. So you could make a lot of baby bibs out of these. And then you could go up here and maybe cut out another baby bib, and then you have a bunch more on the other side. Or you could do something like this. You could cut the towel right down the middle and make two decorative towels. For instance, in the beginning, I showed you a method of hanging it over by making this piece that flips over and Velcros down. So you could do that and you actually have two towels. One you could keep for yourself or give the other one out as a gift. Here is another novelty towel that has kitty cats on it. This is another one of those that is perfect for baby bibs. Or you could make a towel out of one half and use the other half to make a pot holder. If you wanted to make two towels out of this, you'll run into an issue. For instance, on this towel, the print is all in the same direction. It's not printed opposite on the other end. So you have a predicament. You could still make it into two towels. What you would have to do is take the hem that's finished off, undo that hem and make it the top, and then put the hem at the end where the raw edge is. Or you can make one decorative towel and the pot holder, or a whole lot of baby bibs. Now here's another one of those towels where this is only printed on one side. The other side is blank. I also didn't do a whole lot in embellishing it because I just thought the towel looked so good all on its own. All I did was put some tassel fringe on the bottom. But remember, you can still use this other half to make your pot holder. And there's something else you can make out of this half. And that's making an oven mitt. Here again is another example of the design only printed on one end. So you can make the decorative towel out of it, or if you want it, don't make a decorative towel. Cut this out, put it into a pot holder, or an oven mitt, or let me open it up. There's plenty of room on the other side for some of those options I talked about. This is part of a towel that I did several years ago, and I never finished the other half of the towel. So the other half look exactly like this. So I'm going to go through a little bit of how you can make the towel very special. This towel, it has a very country feel. I happen to really like country decor. So I'll just take you through a few of the steps you could do to enhance your towels. I like to look for fabrics that I can put on here that 
coordinate with it. And this is what I mean by coordinate. This is a big rooster. Here's fabric with itty bitty roosters on it. You can use it on here, even though this is primary a big bright yellow background, it'll still go with this because there is the red, the white, and the black in this fabric and this fabric. So now I'm gonna show you exactly what I did on the other half of the towel. On that towel, I'm gonna to focus on the black, the white, and the red that's in the towel. So I took this polka dot fabric, which always gives sort of a country feel to it. I took eyelet lace, stitched it up on top, then put some red checked ribbon on top of this, hemmed this edge. Then I placed it on the bottom and stitched it down. And then at the top, I focused on the red check and then made this to hang over the towel bar and I added rickrack. So here's the oven mitt I've been referring to. This oven mitt was made out of one half of a towel. I was able to cut everything out. So this is very similar to putting a pot holder together. So here is what you can make out of one towel. You can even make things you can wear out of a towel. This is a towel apron. And all I did was take some ribbon that's washable, stitch it on each corner up here at the top that would go around your waist, and then just added some one inch rickrack to the bottom. Now you can make a full bib apron out of one towel. All I did was cut the corners out so it would fit on the upper body, folded the edges over and stitched it down. Then on the back, I'm gonna flip this over, I made it into a cross back apron by just taking ribbon, stitching it up at the top of the bib part and then going down here. And all they have to do is slip it over their head and, and insert their arms through it. One more thing, if you wanna do to a, a bib apron like this for a child, you can add again some decorative rickrack at the top and the bottom edge. If you have an embroidery machine, I like to use tea towels because they're very long and so you have a lot of extra fabric on it to make matching sets for things. For instance, here is a tea towel that I made. You could do this similar design using, I used apple fabric down here, and maybe print pot holders or are something for pot holders and oven mitts or even something special on a bib apron. I also like to use flower sack towels. They're so easy to do your embroidery stitches on. Now, you can also do sewing machine applique projects on the tea towels too. This is a beach towel I recently bought at Walmart. It was about $6. So let me show you what you can make out of this. It's a beach towel cover-up. I cut the towel in half, put a seam at the top, left this open so my head can go through it, folded the edges under, and stitched it down. Then stitched the sides together, leaving an opening for my arm, and down at the bottom, I left a little slit. And you don't have to worry about hemming it because the edges are already finished off. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tip of the week and that I've inspired you to try to make something else other than just a decorative towel. If you're interested in making some of these things that you saw, getting all the detailed instructions on it, I will have those video links listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you go and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. Happy sewing, everyone. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the 
best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.